My name is Heather Graham and I write a ghost series and a vampire series and I've written Christmas books and I have written straight suspense and I have written historical romance. Uh, the Ghost Island Trilogy all takes place in Key West, Florida and it's based on two founding families down there and all of them have to do with a couple of the truly bizarre things in history that have no fiction to go with them at all that have taken place in Key West. Uh, it's an amazing, historical, crazy, wacky place. And they are ghost stories, but they coincide with serious crimes and uh, in all three books, murders which have taken place and must be solved, but the, the ghosts are in there to kind of be with the people. And there's one ghost who goes all the way through the three, and actually his story can be found on eHarlequin. <laughs> I think the atmosphere of Key West is so compelling simply because uh, as far as being an American city goes, it's oddly extremely old for being in South Florida. There was a great deal of history that went on down there, uh, not to leave out the fact that uh, Key West did secede from the United States in protest of a blockade, uh, quickly surrendered, and the blockade was lifted. <laughs> so it's just, it's been a very strange, funny, wonderful place uh, throughout the years. It still is. I grew up with a great deal of incredibly crazy stories. My mom was born in Dublin and I spent most of my growing up formative years with her family. And uh, they were, I don't like to say certifiably crazy, um, but they were a tremendous amount of fun. Uh, they did indeed believe in a lot of bizarre things. Growing up with absolutely wonderful stories, and um, I was in love with Edgar Allan Poe from the time I was very young. And I think Poe in particular does something often that I love because many of his stories that we think of as horror stories have no ghosts, zombies, vampires, werewolves, or anything like that. There's psychological suspense. Um, in these stories I'm definitely working with ghosts, but I also love the idea of psychological suspense and what we can do with our own minds the things that become terrifying because we see them that way or we actually create them ourselves. One thing I'm especially excited about this year is I've done a book for Nocturne with two friends. So that was really a great deal of fun. We have a series uh, loosely called The Keepers coming out and um, each of us takes on a sister, three very special sisters who are born with birthmarks to tell you must, what you must do in life. And it's loosely based on the fact that if you were something otherworldly and must find a place where you could live and kind of hide in plain sight, where would you go? And the three of us came out with New Orleans at exactly the same time. And so these are set in New Orleans. I write the first book, Alex Sokoloff writes the second book, and Deborah LeBlanc writes the third. And we deal with the vampires in the city of New Orleans and the shapeshifters and then the werewolves. <laughs> take care of them all no matter what's going on. <laughs> right now I'm working, well I also have, um, I have a book coming out in December that's part of another <laughs> series. This one was basically based on the concept of vampires in the wild wild west. So in the first book the vampires were in the wild wild west and that was Night of the Wolves and the second book uh, will just be coming out for Christmas I believe, for n n nothing like for Christmas, but the second book is Night of the Vampires and this cast of characters has moved back east because we're still in the middle of the Civil War and there's a problem with people being ripped up from both sides in Washington DC and then Harper's Ferry. Um, so there'll be one more book in that series too, which will we'll come out next year. Um, and then uh, I've just started on a book uh, that has to do with a team that's kind of like a cross between criminal minds and Ghostbusters. <laughs> So it's people with special abilities who are sent around the country to solve different crimes and they have all been put together by a gentleman named Adam Harrison who loosely connects many of the ghost books that I've written. I, I think I'm incredibly lucky. I, I was a theater major and I did dinner theater in Florida which is at the time it was almost an oxymoron. <laughs> it was very funny. I loved what I did. Still love to get my finger back in it. Um, but I, I do think I was incredibly lucky to stumble upon writing. Uh, it's the most incredible career in the world to have. You kind of get to live in your mind all you want and people pay you for it. Um, it's fantastic and I'm just, 
I, you know, who knows what we are actually intended for. I just thank God every day that it's what I do.